Hey guys, it's FTO back again with another video and today, as you can probably tell by the title below, it's my review and on feet of the Nike Magista Obra in the latest Radiant Reveal Pack colorway. I'm really excited about this one, guys. I can't lie to you. From the get-go, I'll tell you really excited about these boots and the way they look but before I get into the actual review guys just want to say a big shout out to the guys at Lovell Soccer for actually providing the boots if you haven't done guys go check them out I'll leave the link in the description below they literally offer all the football boots that come out in the football market not just that when you then make a purchase they offer you free ID now that means you can get your name or a number customized along the side of the boot for free I don't know anyone else that does that so yeah really cool check them out the links in my description below but let's get straight into the review now so as you can see it's a standard orange box nothing new there guys and straight out of the box the first thing you get is a string bag which you can see is solid black with black strings you then got the Nike football branding in white here and the Nike swoosh on the reverse side of the string bag in white also. So Nike have actually gone for traditional black and white colours. But once again, these string bags do come in pretty handy. So yeah, thanks Nike. All that's actually left in the um, box itself are the boots. So let's get these bad boys out. So guys, here we are with the Nike Magista Obra in the latest Radiant Reveal Pack colorway. I am really interested to know if you guys are a fan of the colors and the look Nike have given these boots. Leave it in the comments, you know, if you do like them and if not, why? But what I'll do for now is put the left boot here for you guys to see and talk about the right boot here. So to start off, guys, let's go through a few of the colors that Nike have actually put on these boots. You can clearly see you've got that solid white going around the edge of the boot all the way around, which is obviously Nike skin. The fly knit has a black base with a pink accent on the lateral side of the boot. And on the other side, the medial side of the boot, you've got a black base once again, but with a vault accent. Now that vault color is essentially a green kind of color. And personally guys, I actually love the combination of the two colors, the green and the pink. I think it works absolutely amazing on the boot. Nike didn't stop there. They gave the boot an even more unique look with this kind of frosted finish that they've given on the toe box. And the way they've done that is essentially all they've done is got the solid white Nike, Nike skin along the edge there and gradually faded it out until it became clear see-through Nike skin allowing the colors to come through and it just gives the boot a more unique and really dynamic look which I absolutely love now comment below if you're a fan of that kind of illusion that they've got going on there or not but moving on you've got the Nike swoosh on either side of the um, boot itself in black with white outlining the laces are black the fly knit the exposed fly knit is also black but saying that along the dynamic fit color you can stretch it out and see the detailing of that pink color coming through the ring of the actual color itself is solid pink while the um, heel has Magista branding going down it in white which is really cool the sole plate of the boot guys is black as you can see with a pink night swoosh there the Magista branding also there in black and also you can see a hint of pink coming through a few of the conical studs. So that's a run through of the colors, you know, that Nike have actually used on these boots, which I think is absolutely amazing. Honestly, I just think they look perfect. So guys, what I'll do now is just run through a few of the features of the boot itself. As you probably know already, it's a fly knit upper, so it's really thin, really flexible. Compared to the Superfly, which also is a fly knit upper, these are a lot more, you know, does give off a more padded feel. And that's because the fly knit is more woven. There's a lot more fly knit used and it just gives a more padded feel, which to be honest, if you are looking for a boot for, you know, in terms of like kind of touch, if you're trying to, you know, enhance your touch a, a bit, these are the boots definitely I would suggest that you go for. You've then got the Nike skin, which covers the actual knitted material, stopping it from getting wet. You've got fly wire cables going through from the sole plate into the lacing system. Now, compared to the Superfly 4s, you can, which you can clearly see the um, fly wire and the Brio cable going through from the sole plate into the lacing system. This does have fly wire and Brio cable. However, it's hidden and you can't see it as clearly, but they are there. So once you pull on the lace, is this fly wire locks your foot in place and allows for minimal to literally no movement of your foot within the boot itself it's got an external heel counter here at the back which also holds your heel 
in place and that allows for literally no movement and that's what you want because you want the boot to be responsive and the only way it can be responsive is if it's you know in tune and you know locked in with your actual foot when you're making the movement it's then got the dynamic fit color once again guys as i've said in previous videos it doesn't actually enhance or help your performance in any way all it does is it gives your foot a kind of seamless sensation and feel from your leg into the boot which is what's really trendy at the moment and also let's be honest the mid cut look looks um, absolutely amazing but that's you know a cover of all the features here the sole plate as you probably know already is you know pretty flexible as it's made out of nylon but you know also stiff in the right places the conical studs is really good for kind of 360 degrees traction and and it's you know it's, it's the same stud layout as you know previous magister colorway um that have come out before this so that's you know an overall roundup of this boot which to be honest i'm obviously a big fan as you could probably tell already and just before you know i actually go into the on feet you already know it's acc all condition control so it should perform and will perform in all weather condition it's retailing at level soccer for 229 pounds 99 and out of 10 guys i gave the cr7s a nine i had to give these a nine on the basis of its look I just think they look absolutely amazing. Percy, it's my favorite out of the whole pack. I think this frosted look here just gives the boot a new dimension completely, something I haven't seen on any other boot. But all in all, big fan of these. So what I'm gonna do now is put them on for you guys to see how they look on feet. So guys, here we are at the on feet. The boots look absolutely amazing. As you heard earlier in the video, I scored them a nine out of 10, simply just because of the way they look. I absolutely love these. I think it's absolutely perfect. And Nike got the colors um, absolutely perfect. In terms of fitting guys, I actually got them in half a size up. So I'm actually a size nine, but I got them in a 9.5 because I felt like a nine um, was a bit too tight. So, you know, do remember that if you are looking to purchase these, I would suggest going up half a size. In terms of, you know, the actual look, as I said, they're absolutely perfect. Uh, if you have got excessive wide feet, what I would say is that the Brio cable isn't as, you know, doesn't lock your foot as tightly as what you'd find possibly in the Superfly 4. So you could potentially get these if you have got excessive wide feet but you know if you can i would always suggest that you try the boots on first and um, what i'll do is show you the actual stud um layout there which you can see which is already very proven and really good as it as they are conical studs it does give really good kind of 360 traction so changing direction isn't a problem with these but overall guys i am a big fan of these boots absolutely love them but make sure guys that you smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so guys and if you enjoyed the video give it a like thanks for watching and peace